Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today we're switching up a bit and we're going to be reacting to college football. We we're reacting to Johnny Manziel, he played for Texas A&M. In my opinion, he is one of the most exciting and best college football quarterbacks of all time. Johnny Manziel's career was not great in the NFL, that's why I wanted to react to his college football highlights. However, if we look at the Heisman Trophy quarterback winners since 2007, we have Tim Tebow, good start to his career, decline. Sam Bradford, good start to his career, decline. Cam Newton, great start to his career. He's still up there, he still has potential, but we don't know since that they signed Teddy Bridgewater and we don't really don't know what's up with Cam Newton since his injuries. RG3, great career, then had a decline with injuries. Johnny Manziel, did not really have any good part of his career. We really don't think he'll ever make a comeback again. Jameis Winston, average quarterback throughout his whole career. I like Jameis Winston, he has one of the best arms in the league, but he just does not have the best accuracy and does not make the best decisions. Marcus Mariota, great start to his career, now he's going to decline ever since he got benched for Ryan Tannehill. Lamar Jackson is obviously Lamar Jackson, the MVP. Baker Mayfield had a decent rookie year, you know, for a rookie he's pretty good. Had a horrible sophomore season, we really don't know what he's going to do his junior season in the NFL. Kyler Murray, one offensive rookie of the year, which I, I think Josh Jacobs should have won, but Kyler Murray did pretty good for a rookie. And then Joe Burrow, I don't see why he would do bad in the NFL. So what I was trying to get out is basically many of the quarterbacks in college who have great careers in college don't really do so well in the NFL. And I can go on even before 2007. You know, Matt Leonard, so I don't know how to say his last name. We also have Colson Palmer, good start to his career, then, you know, just really dove. I mean, Mark Sanchez was not a Heisman Trophy winner, but he was really good in college and he didn't really do much in the NFL. So now let's take a look at Johnny Manziel's career highlights in college. He was a 2012 AP Player of the Year, 2012 All-American, he's a 2012 Heisman Trophy winner, 2012 Manning Award, and 2012 SEC Offensive Player of the Year. So 2012 was really his best year. What really affected him in the NFL was just basically his attitude, being cocky, you know, not really focusing on football. That's what I personally believe. He was more focused on partying and other things like that. He tried to make a comeback and go to the Canadian League and the XFL and AAF and things like that. Personally, I'm rooting for Johnny Menzel. I just think that his career is over, but I really want to react to his highlights because I enjoyed watching him play as a college athlete. So I hope you guys like my background. I have all these posters up. You know, I've been having these for the past couple of videos, but this is, I had this stuff up since I was like 11 years old. So anyway, I did change this. This was like The Last Jedi. That's, that movie sucked. So I changed it to Revenge of the Sith because that is the greatest movie of all time, in my opinion. Okay. So I always noticed too, like Johnny, I'm sorry, not Johnny Menzel. Texas A&M Stadium was never that big. For like how good they were. They never really had a good stadium. I always played with them on NCAA 14, the best game of all time. I remember their stadium always was like a D2 stadium or like a D1 AA stadium. I remember watching this game against Duke. They ended up winning. That was like the only time Duke was ranked in football. So good dual threat quarterback. Wasn't the strongest, but he was quick. I'm not sure how tall he was. Either 6'1", 6 6'5", 6 11. I know he wasn't tall for a quarterback. His energy was the best, though. That was something I loved about Johnny Menzel was his energy. Him and Mike Evans, though, best duo. Home of the 12th, man. Hey, as long as they have fans, right? Texas a him sucks lately. I don't really hear them anymore. I guess he just relied on running in the NFL. I guess he just wasn't really that true passer. Because, I mean, look at all the highlights. They're all of him running. I want to see some passing highlights, man. Let's get into it. What is this? Probably get copyright for that now. Didn't even want that in my video. Take the hit, get up. There we go. Let's 
the back foot to Mike Evans. Nice stiff arm. I love Mike Evans too. Him and Tom Brady are going to be unstoppable. Dude, what is this? Looks like the Migos, but I don't want to watch the Migos. I'm trying to watch Johnny Manziel. Caught the fumble. Crossed the body. Right in the bottom. Did they beat Alabama? I'm pretty sure they did. They upset Alabama that year. Could not stand Alabama. But they're starting to go down. They just lost like the best wide receiver class of all time. There's like three projected going in the first round or two. That accuracy though. I love the NCAA football is better than NFL footballs. Just because the white stripes that go across the ends. Alright, well this video sucks. Show me more of, like, I just want all Johnny Manziel highlights. Not him celebrating. Show that in the beginning, that's it. All his uniforms are nice. Oh, that's nice too. Off the back foot, across the body. Number five for receivers, but weird. All that green, take off. If he scores, I'll be surprised. Right between them, nice. Nice. The quarterbacks this year are going to be like Trevor Lawrence, and that's really about it. Ian Book for Notre Dame. I'm a Notre Dame fan, but that's what I can think of too. Trevor Lawrence and Ian Book. They're the only two quarterbacks I know in college football this year. I don't know any of the new five-star recruits or whatever. Everyone transfers nowadays. They don't get a starting spot. They transfer. Instead of working hard, they just transfer. So whatever. Only one I have you know, reason for that is Jalen Hurts. I mean, he was the only one that was acceptable. Jalen Hurts is a beast too. I hope he goes. I hope he does good in the NFL. Maybe the Steelers could pick him up, but I think he'll go first round. Duke, man, it's like the fourth highlight I saw him play Duke. Nice Duke, looking like Christian McCaffrey out there. That's nice running around. Really looks like a running back. I mean, let's be honest here. His cuts are like just like a running back. Oh, here's him, I guess, in trouble. If you're on TMZ, it's not good news. <laughs> well, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like. I'm out, guys. Peace.